Hi, my name is John Ryder, and today I will be showing you DSD suite of multi-company products. There are three products that I'm going to be demonstrating. The first is AP Multi-Company, the second is GL Multi-Company, and the third is AP Distribution Tables. Today's agenda includes discussion of the business need. Why use multi-company? I will also discuss the key features, uh, the uh, do to and do from account, and then I'll be giving you a product demonstration. So why use DSD's multi-company for Sage 100? Multi-company is useful for companies that have uh, a parent company code as well as subsidiary company codes. And that parent company can create transactions such as AP invoices or general journal entries uh, and do expensing to other company codes. Do to and do from accounts are used during these transactions. And we have the multi-company features available for doing AP invoices and manual checks, uh, AR invoices, purchase orders, and general journal entries as well as transaction journal entries. Some of the key features of our multi-company products include having the company code selection on the lines tabs during data entry. The company code exists to the left of the GL account, so you can choose a company code which will then switch to that company's chart of accounts so that you can select their GL account. The journals and registers are also enhanced to show the company code as well as a breakdown of the do to and do from accounts on the, the posting recap. The posting to the general ledger that occurs will handle automatically the posting to the other company all during the update. Finally, we have distribution of tables uh, available so that you can set up multiple accounts in one table that's used for various vendors. Next up, we have an explanation of the do to and do from account. In this example, I'm doing an AP invoice. So the parent company creates the invoice and they're the ones that are gonna have the open invoice and will pay the open invoice. So if they're gonna be posting the expense to another company, that other company will have a debit to their expense and the offset will be to a due to account. On the parent company side, of course, they're going to get the AP invoice, so they're going to get the credit to accounts payable, and the offset there is a debit to the due from account. So why don't we get started with a product demonstration? First up, I'm going to show you the accounts payable multi-company. First off, we're going to go into AP Invoice Data Entry. I'm going to go ahead and select a vendor, and I'm going to create an AP Invoice. I'm going to distribute the lines to the company that I'm in, which is the ABC company, as well as two other company codes. In this case, this invoice is for rent, so Airway Property is my landlord, and my rent is going to be 3300 You can see on the line screen that there's a new company code column to the left of the GL account. I can use the company that's already selected and choose an expense account. And I can also choose different company codes. So here I'm going to go ahead and select XYZ company code. I'm going to select their rent expense account. And I'm also going to select company code EEC. You can see here that when I choose that company code, the chart of accounts that is displayed is for that one company. You may also notice that the expense account or the GL account that is, is using the account mask that is set up for each of those company codes. 
So in this example, my rent uh, for the landlord is $3,300, and I'm splitting that equally among the three companies for $1,100 a piece. Next up, we have the invoice register. So I'm going to preview the register, and there's two parts to the register. The first is the invoice register that displays what you've entered in. So you can see here we've added a company code column to the left of the GL account, and the account shows the proper account mask for each company code. The second part of the register is the recap by division. Standard Sage 100 uh, allows a break by division. With multi-company, we've enhanced it to break it down by company code and then by division. So you can see here the ABC company code has the accounts payable credit. It also has the debit to the expense account for the ABC company code. And then there's the postings to do from one for XYZ and one for EEC. The automatic posting to the other company codes, you can see here that there's a debit to their expense account and the credit is to do to ABC from either EEC or XYZ. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to the update. And at this time, it's going to post automatically to uh, the general ledger daily transaction register uh, of the other companies as well as the company that I'm in. The features that we saw in AP invoice entry are the same that we have in manual check and payment entry. I'm going to go ahead and set up a new check. I'm going to create a new invoice. So you can see here on the general ledger distribution for this invoice in manual check entry, it has the same functionality that we saw in invoice entry. We have the new company code column. We can choose another company. And you'll see that it's pointing to their chart of accounts. As well as manual check entry, this feature exists in repetitive invoice entry. So if you have repeating invoices uh, to different company codes, you can set those up here as well. So again, we have this functionality in AP invoice entry, manual check and payment entry, and repetitive invoice entry. Next up, I want to show you how to set up AP Multi-Company. On the AP Setup menu, we have two new menu options. First is Multi-Company Options. This is where you can turn on Multi-Company and the company codes that you want to do intercompany postings for. Once you've turned it on, then you can select Intercompany Account Maintenance. This is where you set up the Do To and Do From accounts for each company that you want to expense. In this case, I have three companies, ABX, EEC, and XYZ. Now you only need to set up the company codes that you want to do intercompany expensing to. So if you have 10 company codes and there's only three of them that you want to be able to expense, then you would just set up those three here. And then during data entry, it'll only allow you to enter in the company you're in, as well as those three company codes. The next product I want to show you is DSD's Accounts Payable Distribution Tables. This product works in conjunction with DSD's Accounts Payable Multi-Company. So back in Accounts Payable on the Setup menu, we have a new menu option called Distribution Table Maintenance. You can see here that you can set up a table code. You have a table description. You can set the table type, which can be an expense account or a segment. 
And you can see here we have the multi-company functionality built in where you can select a company code as well as their expense accounts. In this case, I've set up a table code called rent and there are four distributions to four different companies. In this example, all four companies share equally in the rent expense because they each occupy the same building. Once you've set up the distribution table, the next step is, is you can assign that table to a vendor. So I'm going to select vendor maintenance. I'm going to select my landlord and I'm going to assign the distribution table of rent. Now the next time I go into invoice data entry and I create a vendor invoice, In this example, I'm going to choose the invoice amount to be 6000 You can see here on the right side of the screen is a distribution table, and it's defaulting to the table that I've set up for the vendor. Now, when I go to the Lines tab, you can see that it will automatically distribute that $6,000 based on the percentages set up in the distribution table. Now this feature exists in both AP invoice entry as well as manual check entry. The final product I'll be showing you today is the General Ledger Multi-Company. And the features that we saw in AP Multi-Company are very similar to what we'll see in the General Ledger. As mentioned, the AP Multi-Company features exist in invoice data entry, repetitive invoice entry, and manual check and payment entry. In the general ledger module for GL multi-company, there are four data entries that have multi-company features. General journal entry, recurring journal entry, transaction journal entry, and allocations. I'll show you the general journal entry for this module. I'm going to go ahead and set up a GL journal entry for my source journal, Cash Disbursements. And on the Lines tab, you can see we have the company code column to the left of the account number. So again, I can choose the company uh, of my choice. I'm going to choose EEC. I'm going to go ahead and select Cash. I'm going to debit $100 for that account. And then I'm going to select the company code ABX, and I'm going to choose their cash account. I'm going to do a credit for the same amount. So in this case, I'm basically transferring cash from one company to the next. I'm going to go ahead and print the general journal. You're going to see that the intercompany postings uh, for my source journal are uh, similar to what you see in accounts payable. So I have the debit and the credit here, and I also have the due to and due from. So I have due from XYZ, due to ABC from XYZ. Uh, in this source journal below, I have another journal entry uh, where I'm doing uh, the same type of cash transfer uh, along with the due to's and due from's. In transaction journal entry, we have the same capabilities. And uh, one of the things you can do is do a transfer of cash between bank accounts. So if you have the bank reconciliation module and you have that integrated with general ledger, then what you can do is you can uh, select um, a bank code on the header and on the lines. So you can see here an ABC company I have my bank code A, and on my lines, I have XYZ company and their bank code A. So essentially, I'm doing the same type of cash transfer that I did in general journal entry, but in transaction journal entry, I have the extra capability of transferring cash between bank accounts in the bank reconciliation module. Finally, we also have recurring journal entry. So you can see here that the lines tab has the company code column. 
and allocation entry has the same feature. This concludes the demonstration. I'd like to thank you for joining me and for more information on DSD's multi-company products, please visit our website at www.dsdinc.com or contact our office at 1-800-627-9032.